Hello everyone, uh, this game was suggested to me by a subscriber and I'm glad it was since it's a spectacular game. Uh, so Alexei Shirov uh, was invited in 1998 due to his high rating uh, to play a 10 game chess match against Vladimir Kramnik and uh, this would determine who will be the next challenger uh, to Garry Kasparov for the title. And uh, Alexei Shirov won this match convincingly with 2 wins and 7 draws, uh, the last game wasn't even played uh, so he defeated Vladimir Kramnik without losing even, even a single game. Uh, but he couldn't manage it financially, and so the match against Kasparov never happened. Uh, but uh, Shirov and uh, a lot of other people actually think that Kramnik's uh, World Championship match against Kasparov uh, should be considered invalid, since uh, Shirov was actually the rightful challenger to Kasparov. Uh, but, uh, you know, it is how it is. Uh, and it's it's interesting, uh, Shirov actually won, I think it was uh, it was in March this year, he won the Mikhail Tal Memorial Tournament, and uh, it was probably a great honor for him, since both him and Mikhail Tal are from Latvia, both were born in Riga. And uh, people have often com compared uh, Alexei Shirov to Mikhail Tal, as they're both, uh, they were both extremely tactical players, and you know, they, they share a birthplace, so de definitely, definitely a great guy. Uh, so let's see this game. This was played in uh, 1990, it's the year Alexei Shirov actually got his Grandmaster title. Which is interesting, uh, Shirov got his Grandmaster title in 1990 and already in 1994 uh, he was ranked number 2 in the world, so only bested in rating by Garry Kasparov himself. And uh, this game uh, was played also in Latvia, he's playing against a player uh, called uh, Jerzy Lapinski, and Lapinski was around uh, 2200 rating at the time this game was played. So let's see this game, uh, Shirov is white and uh, Lapinski is black. We have e4, e5. And, uh, of course, uh, Shirov goes uh, for the King's Gambit. Uh, we have e captures on f4, knight to f3, and now g5. Uh, here we have bishop to c4, and now a very old line that is, uh, well, uh, in those days it was considered good for white, uh, but uh, nowadays uh, uh, an improvement ha ha has been found. So we have g4, the Muzio Gambit. Uh, we have castles, uh, castling is the Muzio Gambit, and here we have G captures on F3, so already sacrificing a, a piece, In uh, this is move 5, uh, we have queen captures on F3, uh, queen to F6, and now uh, E5, so uh, queen captures pawn, and uh, bishop captures on F7 with check, and the king captures on F7, so this is move, uh, move 8, and the white already sacrificed 2 pieces, and okay, we have D4, uh, <laughs> trying to sacrifice another pawn, and uh, uh, here Lapinski uh, captured this pawn with the queen. Queen captures on d4, and it was years later that uh, they discovered uh, queen f5 to be the best move here. And after bishop captures on f4, bishop to g7, and uh, maybe c3 defending this d4 pawn, knight to f6, and you know, uh, white doesn't really have anything here, black is much better. Uh, but after uh, this uh, queen to d4, uh, I mean, after this d4 move, uh, Lapinski captured, uh, queen captures on d4 with check, and here uh, we have bishop to e3 by Alexei. Uh, so, of course, uh, the pawn cannot capture the bishop as it's pinned, and if the queen captures bishop, uh, black simply loses a queen, the pawn is still pinned. So, after bishop to e3, uh, Lapinski tried a queen to f6. And here we have bishop captures on f4, uh, we have king to e8, uh, knight to c3, we have knight to c6, and now, of course, knight to d5, attacking the queen. Uh, Lapinski goes queen to g6, and here we have rook 8 to e1 with check. Uh, we have king to d8. Uh, sorry, uh, we have bishop to e7. If uh, black would try uh, king to d8, then simply bishop captures and c7 is an uh, instant checkmate. So after rook uh, 8 to e1, uh, Lapinski tried bishop to e7. And uh, here we have a spectacular, <laughs> spectacular move by Alexei Shirov. He plays bishop to d6. And this is, uh, I mean, this is, uh, this is crushing. There is no move black can make that would, that would do anything for him. Uh, the threat is uh, extremely powerful. It's queen to f8 checkmate. And, uh, well, black can try a lot of things here, but none of them work. Uh, probably the best uh, thing to do here is knight to f6 to stop checkmate, but this loses a piece here on e7 and uh, very soon the game. So uh, Lapinski tried king to d8. And uh, here, well, uh, there are a lot of things that white can do. For example, he can simply uh, play bishop to c7 check, and after king to e8, uh, repeat this move, queen to f8 checkmate. Uh, but uh, Shirov actually, uh, in this position, finds an, an even <laughs> a better checkmate. 
uh, he plays queen to f8 and uh, well <laughs> what's black gonna do uh, Lapinski de decided to capture the queen, bishop captures on f8, and simply bishop captures on c7 with checkmate. So, uh, a beautiful, beautiful move, and uh, even if after queen to f8, uh, Lapinski decided not to capture Shirov's queen, and uh, play something like, uh, for example, queen to e8, then again, uh, bishop uh, captures on c7 is checkmate. So, uh, something like a smothered, a smothered mate with a bishop. So uh, this isn't what happened, uh, the queen sacrifice was accepted and after this bishop to c7 and this beautiful 17 move miniature was created by Alexei Shirov. So yeah, uh, definite, definitely a beautiful game and uh, I'm, sh I'm sure he was <laughs> very glad to win uh, Tal's Memorial this year as uh, well, uh, they, were, they were countrymen. So yeah, uh, this is the game, I do hope you enjoyed it and uh, uh, thank you for suggesting such a wonderful game. As usual, you can check two of my previous videos here, and uh, that's it. Thank you all for watching, and uh, I'll see you soon.